Hendrik. Hello, Hendrik. Uh, I am new to Fusion 360. Find your tutorials helpful. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I drew a toggle bar test Um and this only part is that the parts are not moving. I wanted to move. Ooh, this is a good one. Um, that is. Oh no, sorry. This is not from Hendrik. This is from Eric Grohn. Sorry, from Holland. Cool. <laughs> sorry about the name from messing things up. I need a cup. Sip my coffee. This is just me. This is just me trying to add a little bit more value to you. So we're looking for a toggle bar, this Tesco, or whatever you pronounce it. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna open up a new file. And I am going to see if our good friend at Insert McMaster component, if they don't have one. So if we go in here and we do toggle clamps, it definitely looks like we have something. Toggle bar. Is that how you spell it? I think so. That's how he spelled it. And this taco. And it shows up. I hope it's like a clamp like this. Hold down clamp. That's what I'm assuming it is. So let's click on that. And uh, this one here. And if we go over and pick one. I was going to pick one of them over here. Click on that. And if you see there's a product detail in here. Then we can actually go and download it. So I'm going to download it as a step file. Select the 3D step file, hit save, and wait for the magic to happen. Do, 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 do. Magic, baby. This is why Fusion is awesome. There is the clamp. Um, it brings it right in. Now it's laying down on the side, so I'm just going to raise it up here, get a free move, hit OK like that, and uh, and we get this. So this is really, really good. Um, but as you will see when I open it up, it is just a bunch of bodies. And uh, like Eric is saying here, this is not really helpful for me because I want it to be able to move. Um, I'm not going to go fully into depth of this, but uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of it. So let's go in and click on here. So this is the bottom right uh and that's probably tied into something so we definitely want to use that one uh and then you can go in here as a handle that's good there's kind of two part of this. this is a handle uh and this portion here swings around that portion is good uh the rest of these here i'm actually gonna just not worry about these for right now so what i'm gonna do is this is bodies and bodies don't move but um I'm just going to capture this for a second. Uh, but components does. So I'm going to right click here and say new components. And I'm going to name that component. I'm going to call that bottom. That's like the bottom clamp. That was body number one, right? I can drag, hold down your left mouse button. I can drag that right down to the bottom. So now the bottom is its own component. Let's do the same thing for the handle. Right click, new components. Left, slow left click. Call this one handle. And uh, I saw that these two bodies are part of the handle. So I'm going to hold down control, select those two, take those into the handle. Boom. So now we got two different components. Now we're going to go on, and I don't know what we're going to call this one. We're going to call this one the Lavalor. New component. And we're going to call this one Lavel. Oops, slow. Oops, sorry, sorry. Slow left click. Level, level or level, I don't know, call level, drag that one into that one. So we now have uh, three different in there, and I'm just going to hide the rest of them for right now. So we're only seeing these, uh, these three. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to move. But right now, everything is kind of like flying around completely, completely useless. So the first thing we got to do is we're going to, to nail one into space. Um, so I'm going to right click. And I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a ground. That's one of my favorite ways to do this. There's different ways to do it. I've showed different ways to do it. The reason I like to use ground <clears throat> is because it puts a thumbnail, and now I know this one is this one cannot move. Okay. Now, but the handle here can move, and this can move. 
Now to do this, to do to do put the rest of them together, here's something pretty amazing. Um, up here on the assemble, there's one called as built joint. And it really means what it means is that when we have multiple components like we do right now, but they are exactly where we really want them to be. Guess what, Eric? <laughs> Was I on the right? I'm not sure if I was on the right camera. Um, I hope I was on the right camera when I put all this together. Um, now we can go ahead and we can use that uh, as built joint. So I'm going to click as built joint, select the components, and I'm going to select the bottom component, and I'm going to select, actually, let me select the moving component first. I'm going to select the moving component first, as built joint, the moving component. And the bottom component, you see how they all shake? It's because now they were kind of like glued together. But if I go over and release and change that to a revolute, and the, what do we want to revolute, revolute around and uh, an axis, that is now revoluting around the axis. Hit OK. And now that is acting just like that. Now I'm going to do that again revert back to zero for this one right this one is moving around do the exact same thing i'm going to go back here and say that i want to use an as built joint i'm going to select the moving component the stationary component say i want to do a a revolute and i'm going to select that one over there and now it moves around there okay so this one can now move up and down like this this one can move up and down like this and this one can't move because we made that stationary Okay, now I realize that to get the real movement between these, these two components, because that's how it works, we need another one. So if we go in here and we click on body number five and turn that on, that looks like that that one is actually what connects them all. So let's go ahead here and create a new component. And I'm going to call that one connection. And then I'm just going to grab that and drag that down into that one. Turn these bodies off again. So now we kind of have that one sitting in there. And now if we go back in here. And now we're going to do a as built joint. And that's going to be this handle. Because that's already, no. It's going to be the moving component versus this handle. Because this handle I would call stationary right now. And we're going to do a positioning between this here. So now you see that that will spin around in there. Now it's breaking it right now. What is okay? So now if we move that, see how that moves, right? Put that back. Go up and do another ass built joint. And again, I would think that this one is the sta this one is the moving. This is the stationary. And we're just going to select the revolute through that axis in there. It's just going to be the axes. And now we'll move around that. Hit OK. And guess what? Now they are acting like they should. Now they will cross over right now. You see how they are crossing over? And there is um, contact sets in here. But you know what? That is another, uh, that's another one for another day. Uh, but that is how I would work with a clamp and get the movement uh, in here if that is what we if that's what we after hope that was useful uh, let's take a couple of more here <laughs>